welcome to the stream. We're going to continue working on the game. And for today, um, we are going to refactor, uh, refactor the code that um, um, that we use in the in the weapon slot to detect the click. We are going to extract that code and put it in a in a common place so we can use it for for other system as well. And after that, we're going to work on the ability to, to upgrade weapons, to, to, to level them up. So um, we'll be able to make them more powerful. And uh, depending on how we how we are on time, after, after those two, uh, we might start working on uh, the first power that the, that the user is going to have, which is the zap, um, which is uh, basically somewhat like a laser or the idea is to be something like a laser where you would uh, target an enemy click on it and then you would just like um, uh, deal a little bit of damage to to it so that's uh, that's the plan for today uh, so let's start working on this uh, first we're gonna do a small recap uh, of uh, what we've done last time so let me open up this okay so yeah, most of the the stream last time. Um, yeah, we've done so, so. We've done some some bug fixing from what I see, and the most important thing is, is the the thing that we're also gonna use today is this, uh, which is the um, the the panel that's gonna appear whenever you click a weapon. So this is the, 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 the panel that you're going to see and uh, through which you're going to upgrade your weapon. So yeah, you have the, the stats of the weapon, you have yeah, you, the name of the weapon, the level, the stats, and then you're going to have a button uh, which you can press to, uh, to, uh, to level the weapon up. Um, also for each stats, on top of seeing the um, the multiplier for the stat you are you also see in parentheses what you're gonna get when you level up so you have an idea of uh if it's worth it or not to to level up the weapon and yeah that's kind of it maybe maybe we're gonna add also uh, the uh absolute values for the stats um see i'm not sure about that so so basically here we have percentages but maybe we can add like uh the default value is 10 plus 70 percent more because of the upgrades it's just something that uh, that came to mind uh, right now we, we will see but for now uh yeah or we might replace the the percentages uh, altogether and only have uh, uh only have uh, the values we, we will see when we actually implement the implement the panel. But first, as I said, we're going to start with some refactoring because we need, yeah, uh, we we're going to do this task, which basically says that we have to to extract this uh, the, the the clicking functionality out of the weapons because we're going to need it for the weapons. So yeah, that's what uh, what we're going to start with. And the idea is here um, we are going to um, so so basically how it, how it works right now. Uh, let's actually also track the time. So let's do this. Okay. So yeah. So how it works now is let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah. So on click. Yeah. When we when we click we sh inside this, is, this code is inside the the weapon slot. So when we click, we shoot a ray cast, and if we hit the the, the, the weapon the weapon slot that we uh, yeah weapon slot from which the, the the code is executed, we're gonna spawn the weapon. This is not uh, first of all not ideal. So the, the, this code is not really that good because there's no centralized place where where we shoot this ray cast. Each each and every uh, weapon slot is shooting its own raycast and it's trying to determine if the raycast hit itself. But that's not really, as I said, that's not really ideal. Ideally, we, sh we should uh, shoot only one raycast. And if we hit something, uh, something should do whatever it's supposed to do. So yeah. 
Sí. Yeah. So let's start working on this. Um, cool. Let's see, first of all, where, where are we going to put this? Um, I think we have, we should have something like, yeah, we have controls manager here. So, I wonder, I don't know if it, sh if it should stay in the controls manager. This, this kind of does something else. We should, so, so we are going to use the controls manager. I don't know if this code should stay in the controls manager. Uh, I haven't thought where I should put this. What was the, what's the place for this, uh, for this code? I, I, I don't need a name for it. I might just call it, at least for now, like pick manager or something. That would be, because we're only going to deal with, um, maybe we're going to extend it in the future. Uh, for, 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 for this use case, we're only going to deal with, uh, uh, with the uh, uh, mouse click, left mouse button. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, let's let's just call it that. Actually, let's just call it that. The so actually left mouse button is not really correct. I mean, it, it's correct if we're using a mouse, but we we're, we're also gonna have support for. Um, for controllers, so yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna call it click, click manager. Uh, yeah, let's just do it like this. We can rename it whenever we want, so that's not a uh, that's not a big issue. Okay, so yeah, we have this. I'm going to make it a uh, service. It's it's gonna it's not gonna stay in the in the scene. It's gonna be a scriptable object. So let's do that. Uh, for now, in reset, we won't do anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. As I said, we 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 do a uh, a reference to to the controls manager. So let that. Controls manager. Let's make this a serialized and also a uh, service dependency. So it uh, so it works well with uh, with our systems. Okay. And here, actually, let's let's get the weapon plot and attach it to the side. Let's close the files because we don't need them. Let's look what what we're doing here. So. We will need both of those, uh, yeah, both of those uh, listeners. So, so we 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 will need the, the position and also the. Uh, we also need to know when we click. So first of all, uh, we're gonna need a vector two, which is pointer position. Okay. And, and yeah, here in, in reset, controls manager, camera actions dot, let's just do the, the position for now. So when this is performed, we're going to attach a callback. So yeah, let's call it the same. So on move. But also, I'm actually going to detach it and attach it again. Uh, just we don't have it attached twice. Uh, this is going to be called context. And in here, we're going to read the value. So this should be pointer position uh, is equal to context.read value of vector 2. Okay, and now the second one, controls manager dot 
camera actions at a point click that performed a new method is going to be on click again this is going to be context let's duplicate this remove it and attach it uh, again let's actually move this method and put it after the own move and here here we're going to do our magic so and by magic i mean we're going to shoot the raycast so this part okay now yeah so first we we, we are going to need uh, to make a ray so var ray equals to let's just do camera that oh, i can do okay doesn't really matter. Um, I wonder why I have to use the Unity engine. I'm going to check that. Screen point to ray, and uh, we need the position. Okay. I really don't get it why 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 that what the camera is, but yeah sure whatever. Ah, uh, this tells us that oh this could be null. Well, it actually can't be null. It it won't be null. Um, I want to check. I I don't want to do a null check because I know for sure it's not gonna be null. And if it is, I would very much like to to get an error. So yeah, let's just leave it like this. I mean, I, we can do it, but uh, I'm gonna, gonna gonna do it in the editor maybe. So camera, if camera is null, uh, yeah, we're just gonna what are we gonna we're gonna log an error, I guess. Error. Uh, not not the main camera is null. And we're gonna say attach this the object of origin and also here so we're gonna do if in editor or development build uh, not else but and if okay. So if you're in a in a release um Build. I don't want this error. Uh, this uh, this null check. Okay, but now this is annoying. Ah, it's because of this, right? Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. No, it does make sense. Um, did I make it so this returns a string? No, I did not. Um, let's just throw it here. I can just really. Uh, does the E? I, I don't remember if. I can, no, 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 cancel. Yes, okay, yes. Yeah, I haven't done this. I mean, I, I was planning to do it, but. Yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, no, just ah. Uh, what if I have to do this? Oh, this is a thing. Let's just let's just leave it like this. Okay, so we we are checking for null. If it is null, we're we're just gonna log an error. The most important thing is knowing where the error comes from. Not. not You know what? Let's just screw it. No, we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna 
live you need to deal with it so if there is an error we're gonna get the error so yeah we just don't care okay okay now let's do the the recast so let's do the if so physics dot physics dot uh raycast and now that's a good question i should do a raycast all let's just do one cast for now so out var hit uh let's just say yeah something like this and we can hit anything okay uh the thing is this actually i might put a layer but uh yeah and i think i'm gonna ignore colliders uh triggers i mean sorry not colliders um yeah i think i'm gonna ignore colliders triggers damn it not colliders uh yeah i'm gonna put a uh a private hello zarnot private layer mask i have to get accustomed to the to the new layout because i have obs on another screen so i'm not uh i have to remember to check this other screen to see messages okay so layer mask uh, um let's just call it layers uh not service dependency sir. um so, blah, 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 blah. close enough serialized field okay so we're gonna use we're gonna use it there. Now here, um, we have to do some things here. Actually, no. First thing that I want to check real quick is. Does the uh, weapon or or what's the weapon slot? Is the weapon slot okay? Uh, it's just a simple game object. Oh, okay. never mind then. Yeah, uh, we are we are going to do something here though. So let's just call it or let's just call it root. And what we're going to do is um, we can't use try. Yeah. So we're going to do hit dot um, collider, I guess. Oh yeah, we can do something like this. Attach the rigid body. So it has a rigid body. And it sh should it have a rigid body though? So basically what I'm trying to, to, to do here is... Yeah, I, I haven't explained exactly how I'm gonna... Or what I'm gonna do after I... I I hit something. So, what I, what I would like to do is have have a um, have a have a mono behavior which I can attach to 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 an object, which is gonna be called like I think um, the name I I thought about it was clickable. There's gonna be a mono behavior which is called clickable. And what does what this does is whenever I hit something. Uh, I, I, I try to search for the clickable uh, mono behavior and I'm gonna call something on that uh, on that uh, on that mono behavior and f for simple game object like uh, like like the weapon slot which is um, actually mm, this is not oh huh. I could clickable on the 
same object though. Actually, I think my this might make a lot more sense. Have the clickable game object here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So, so what I was thinking was that okay, I'm gonna have uh, for, for for the weapons the weapon slot for example. I'm gonna have the clickable here, but for an entity, I might have the clickable some other in some other place and. Uh, the, 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 the the collider is gonna be like a child of the the object which has clickable so so for entity that was my idea was hey I don't know where the clickable component is but I know how to search for it so game object of whatever collider hit go through the parents and search for the for the entity root and uh, when we reach the entity root from there look through all the and, and search for a clickable uh, com component. But yeah, I think that's, that's a little bit cumbersome. So, so we're going to make it mandatory uh, that we have a... I mean, if you don't have a clickable uh, mono behavior right next to the collider that we hit, uh, we, uh, we're not going to do anything. So, yeah. And unfortunately, right here, yeah, we need to we need to create a behavior because we need to reference it. So let's just make it here. I might just have to move those because I don't like them here. Clickable. Sure. Clickable is gonna be a mono behavior and. And for now, it's not gonna do anything, or maybe uh, actually public void um, click. Okay, it's gonna have one one method, and we're not gonna implement it right now. Okay, so clickable uh, is gonna be uh, hit dot collider dot game object dot get component no get component and we're looking for uh, uh clickable yeah i might actually search for this and if i don't find it i might try to search it in the parents as well actually because there might be cases where we have, um, let's say we have a model and we have multiple colliders and we would like to centralize the click on, on each collider. So whatever collider you hit, uh, I, I, I would like to have a single clickable uh, component. And I can't use this, right? Pretty sure I can't use that. Get component in parent. I can use this. That doesn't seem right. Um, I can't use that for game objects but I can use it for actually to be honest I, I don't even need it if I use this will give me the, the the closest one yeah never mind we, we don't even need it yep yeah that's what I that we need to do so we're going to the clickable thing and here we can do clickable if it's not no to uh, clickable that click, and yeah, here I can't use. It. So if I do clickable, uh, yeah, this I can't use. Uh, this won't be permitted by Unity. I mean, it won't work with Unity. I was alive. Yeah, yeah, this won't work. Okay, cool. So now we can click on 
things. Now the, the, the problem is, what if you click on something and it doesn't have a clickable thing? Um, or there was an there there was another thing also. I was thinking maybe. Uh, I don't know. There are some cases that I was thinking about, and I uh, I don't know if we should deal with them or if even gonna have them in the game. Actually. Yeah. So what I was thinking about. So if you look at the the weapon slot. We have this on click, but we do have a check here. So there are cases where where you can click on a on a weapon slot, uh, but there's some condition that prevents you from doing anything with it. So in this case, uh, when you click on it and you don't have enough money, you can't buy the you can buy the weapon. You can't place a weapon there. So what I was thinking is, actually do it in paint, I suppose. So let's say, oh damn, they changed the interface of the, oh, huh. this looks cute, I guess. Where are, uh, okay, sure, okay, what? So let's say, uh, this is camera we are gonna have let's just make them like this so we're gonna have one object here and oh, come on I want one object click outside and let's choose another color and have another object here okay now we're gonna have a ray let's make it green it's gonna be something like this okay so now here's my idea or, or what was my original idea by the way this 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 ray it, uh, looks uh, the first hit we're gonna have it's gonna be here and what I was thinking um, yeah maybe 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 the uh, this, this click method that we put on double maybe uh, it could have returned a boolean that would say okay yeah you hit me but I I can do anything with this uh, with this click, so I'm just gonna pass. I, I I I can't do anything with it. So so my idea was okay. Uh, the, the, this red object says okay. Uh, I I I can't do anything with this click event. Just uh, just continue doing your stuff. And I was thinking maybe okay we can do anything with it. So I'm gonna go forward and go to the next object in. And uh, trigger the click on this one, and maybe this can do something with it. Uh, but the thing is, I don't, I don't think we can, uh, or no, I don't think we have this use case in the in the game. I don't think we will ever have two clickables uh, laid on top of each other. And also, if, I, if we don't have a, if, if the, the thing that we try to click is occluded by something else, we also shouldn't, uh, we, should, we should stop the search. So we should get the first object that uh, the, the first object that the hit uh, um, hits. And if it's a clickable, yeah, we're gonna, click on, uh, we're gonna call the, the click method on it. And if it's not, we won't do anything because uh, the thing that the player is trying to click on is actually occluded by something else. So yeah, we are gonna do this uh, the simple way. So yeah, this is this is the the, the code we're gonna have. We are searching for a click component, and if we have, it, we're gonna call click on it. And I think that's that's kind of. Everything that we need for this, uh, actually the only thing left to do is create asset menu here. 
your name is gonna be a uh, PT slash manager slash click manager. So let's create this. I guess let's put it here because we don't have a manager folder. Create we have we put the controls. Oh we have it put it here in the controls actually. So pro oh I called it PT. Yeah I shouldn't be good project R. But yeah here new clickable manager it's gonna be the only clickable manager or the click or the, the only click uh so yeah project tower without the space and with a small o okay let's check if it's in the right place now so yeah manager uh without the s sure manager whatever okay save it Let's wait for it to compile and okay. Click manager. We need the controls manager assigned. And here, for now, we're gonna say we can only hit weapon slots. And all you have to, you should hit default. Actually, hit a lot of things. Also, enemy. No, the not actually default no default the top should hit the tower because we don't want to go through with the rate through the tower and hit something on the other side of the of the tower yeah for now we're gonna only do weapon slot and tower we're going to go for the weapon as well but not right now we're gonna do it in the, in the in the other task when we actually implement this for for towers yeah but uh yeah so now we have uh we let's check if it's in the list it should appear in the list it's not yep because we haven't implemented anything here so i on scene loaded that's it reset and let's do this explicit that's how i want it Let's put it here. So on scene loaded, call reset. We go to those things, and let's refresh now. So now I have click manager and dependency on the controls manager. Awesome. Cool. Oh, yet I should be able to scroll here. That's a bug. Okay. Anyway, doesn't really matter right now. Okay. Um yeah we should uh, we should start using it actually let's just uh, make the oh we have to do the we have to implement the clickable but uh, yeah let's just add clickable here and actually let's do a log here and let's call it hit and that say this here Okay, and now let's uh, suppress the the clicking from the weapon slot itself, so we can so we can see the the, the click manager in action. Okay, save, go back, and now let's play. So now I should be able to see kit console logs whenever we click on a. There we go, and if you click on. Tower, nothing happens and if we click through the tower again nothing happens but as soon as we click on the weapon slot we get the we get a message cool cool that's nice um i think the way i'm going to implement it implement this is by having a private unity event here And yeah, it's gonna be called on click. And here we're just gonna invoke it and let's make this an expression body. And the last thing, this should be a serialized field. And 
hide more script here. And I think that's it for clickable. That's all we need to do. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. The, the, the other thing that we have to do is make this actually public because we will need to, to hook it up in the UI. Actually, no, my bad. Not We don't have to hook this up. I mean, actually, we have to hook that up, not in that way. Um, we don't need all of those stuff. We only need, so if I can't buy, we're going to return. But if I can't, actually, let's just reverse this because it's going to be much more readable. So if I can buy, I'm going to spawn the weapon, and that's it. And yeah, this is going to be public. Okay. So let's try it. Let's go into the weapon slot and hook this up. Weapon slot. Uh, uh, cube. Okay, so we have on click here. Let's hook on the weapon slot itself. So weapon slot and I am blind. I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, um, it's not showing because of this, and this is something that we don't need anymore. Uh, but we have to get rid of this though. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the the other stuff as well. But uh, for now, let's just uh, focus on this. So yeah, weapon slot, and yeah, here on click. So now we can we can save this, please. Oh, oh, come on, tell me you're not stuck. God, I hate this error. I hate this, I hate this. Yeah, it's stuck. I don't know why this is happening, but... I don't know. But, uh, but what I have to do is just uh, end the task and it's gonna go away. Come on, because if you if you look at it, it's uh, yeah not responding. It is dead. Let's go back to our weapon slot. Oh, this is still set up. Okay, so it actually saved this, but I don't know. Okay, never mind. Let's try it. So now, when we click on a on a weapon slot, we should be able to create a weapon. I said we should. <laughs> now that it's gonna work. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Weapon slot on click. Weapon slot on click. If I buy, I'm gonna spawn. So, what's up with this? Get this out of here and put it in the weapon definition. Anyway, um, yeah. So why is the weapon not running? Huh? Why? Why? 
let's look at the manager maybe something is messed up here weapon slot tower no that looks fine and this is weapon slot so what's going on here what is going on we, we were able to click on it previously so 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 something is wrong so let's look at this and also let's look at this and this if and let's attack bugger for this session yes please Let's play the game. And why do I think it's it's gonna just work now? I I may not doubt it, but no. All right, we got a gear. Uh, let's see if there's anything on it. Persistent pulse. We should have something. Yeah, we have something in persistent pulse, so that is cool. Let's continue, and we're here. And can buy is true. So. Why is it not like happening? What the hell? Oh, it worked. Wait, what? What did I just say? Why did I just did I just say it's just gonna work? And I don't know why it works now. No clue. Yep, yep, it just works. That's awesome. Um, it is actually really annoying because I don't know why it wasn't working before. I don't know if it was just not compiled or pff, I don't know what happened. But sure it works now let's try it again without maybe it just needed the main reload i don't know actually no because it doesn't the main reload when we enter the scene yeah now it just works awesome okay whatever <laughs> whatever okay Okay, so yeah, this works. The only thing left to do is uh, we have to remove some code from the weapon. So let's get rid of all of those. So here we have to get rid of some stuff. So control manager is uh, bye bye. We don't need that anymore. Weapons there. Yeah, we don't care about this. Those two will go away. Uh, this will go away as well. We don't need a non move, and I think that's kind of it. There's nothing else related to the controls here. Yeah, okay. Cool. So that's it. Let's just do a, a final check. Let's start a game and yep okay so it works cool so now we have done this we have done the refactoring let's end this okay let's commit the changes and now we can start on the on the level up now this is like so publish cool yeah so now we're gonna work on this as I said the the, the, the weapon level up or the upgrade or whatever we whatever we call it um Yeah, so the idea is that 
you will be able to to yeah after you create your weapon you'll be able to, to to level up the the weapon so it becomes more powerful so yeah that's that that's basically it uh, there are some things that we'll have to do uh, i don't know in, in what state we are with the weapon remember i don't know if we have data for the levels i think we do but i haven't uh, checked before the stream but i uh, estimated uh, about two hours for this task for all that it, uh, all that it entails so from yeah from the data that we have to input to clicking on it and showing the the panel the data in the panel uh, uh, there's also the thing that uh, the, the the levels will be infinite so we have to take that in consideration so yeah there's a lot of stuff to do but uh, yeah and as i said i estimated uh, about two hours for for this task okay first thing that we have to check is we have to go to a weapon and let's look at the weapon definition okay so we have set it up so we can have levels okay i mean there's kind of nothing in here but i think we we'll remove this has custom name to be honest i'm not gonna keep this um we'll have to fix this theme because this is not working this is not correct anymore i think the data change the data the type has changed so yeah so let's do that let's start this uh, with the weapon definition so weapons uh, runtime and weapon definition okay yeah so as i said uh we're not gonna have custom names for the levels i don't think that's necessary I don't think we're going to ever use it and if we are going to to need it uh, we're going to add it back in but the custom name is out we're only have we're going to only going to have a cost a currency and obviously we will have to add uh multipliers here so how do we do that though actually I, know how to, I, I mean i don't know how to do it let's but let's look at what we've done with the with the waves i guess uh wave definition so for the waves uh or, or in a wave we can specify multipliers for an enemy or we can look at ah uh, no upgrades no no upgrades not a good solution yeah we have this we have multipliers okay let's put this uh, on the side and let's just keep it there so we have an idea of what we have to do we have to check for those multipliers that they are Put whatever stat you have we want actually oh no we have no we have a check here for the multipliers yeah okay okay so let's do it so public class weapon uh weapon Uh, that's the finish sure let's make it serializable and here after those two we're gonna have a private array of those be called stats uh, serialized field 
Okay, and yeah, we'll have to expose it so we can use it in the UI. But for now, let's just do it here. So, so what we're gonna need here? We're gonna need two things. We're gonna need the. How did we do it here? So yeah, we'll we'll need a, a, a link which is the stat. So public link stat. What actually should we do it? Let's do it private. Okay, and private. Um, load multiplier, multiplier. Um, yeah, no multiplier. Uh, it's gonna be multiplier. Okay. Let's see. So this is gonna be required. This is gonna have a a mean value of zero. And yeah, we have to do this this trick here. For the multiplier, I guess. Um, Yeah, no, we have to look a bit at the... We have to look a bit at the... Where are the... Upgrades. So yeah, upgrade definition. Care about multiplier, get multiplier for the level. Yeah, in here I'm divided by 100. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in a different way. So, and I'm gonna, uh, I will have to change it for the wave definition as well. Actually, I'm gonna put a uh, comment here to do. Um, change. To use yeah so, so the the difference is what I've done in the upgrades or for the upgrades actually let's look at the upgrade because it's gonna be much more easier to understand um, they are here so we have an upgrade for a tower health for the max max health of the tower and if you look at the level instead of having multipliers so which the, the, the multipliers would be much more appropriate for where you would say okay i want to increase the number by by 20 percent you would actually write that as or multiply it by one uh, one point uh, two but much more easier for for a non-technical person to understand percentages something is plus 20% more than, than its default. 
So for, for upgrades, I've actually made this change. So as you can see here, the multiplier is actually, uh, might not, the, the, the name will might not uh, be correct anymore, but yeah, here we're, we're working with, with percentages, 20 plus 20%, 25% plus 30 and so on. And yeah, we are using this in, even in the, so, so this is a, a UI for playing um, based on the values that you input and because this is a, or, or this level should have infinite levels, we, we have an UI that, uh, that, that can help you visualize how the, uh, um, Yeah, how the how the how the values for for each level evolve. So, for example, for level seventy, we're gonna have a multiplier of however many that is. What fifty five uh, fifty five thousand uh, percent? That's okay. That's insane. It it grows really fast because this is actually uh, this is exponential. Um, but yeah. But yeah, the, the the idea is that you can you can check uh, what multiplier is there for a, a certain number of uh, of levels into there. Uh, okay, and the same for the so this is the multiplier, and you can also check the cost, and the the, the cost is actually linear. Uh, that's how it uh, how it's set up. But uh, yeah, that's that's not that's not bad. So yeah, uh, this is linear and this is exponential. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the same here uh, in, uh, for for, weapon, uh, for the weapon multipliers here for the for the stats. We're gonna use the same uh, the same approach. So actually, we're not gonna use that. We are going to uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to add a suffix label. But it's just gonna be a percent sign. And yeah, I want it inside the the input. So I guess that's kind of it. So we have the stat, we have the multiplier, and uh, actually I might just uh, put them in a horizontal group. So it's more compact. Yeah, so let's look at that. Okay, so weapons, weapon definition, and here we have, have the first level. Uh, the currency is gonna be coins. So let's say it costs us uh, 25 coins to make this upgrade. And what this upgrade is gonna give us is, actually we don't have any stats, but uh, why aren't those in a, they should be in a horizontal group. Oh, I cut that instead of copying it, I guess. Or I don't know what happened. Yeah. Those two should be in a horizontal group. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have stats yet for, for weapons, but uh, we'll need to do that as well. Um, should it be in a horizontal group? Yeah, let's keep it in a horizontal group, but let's remove the multiplier. Uh, let's say um, hide label. I'm wondering something. No, I can't do that. Okay, never mind. Okay. We have the stats and the multiplier. Let's add a, let's add some space uh, above the stats because I don't like it that, that they're 
so close together here. Also, uh, let's change the. Okay, let's do more more things. List drawing settings here. Uh, it's gonna be extended by default. Show paging. No, it's not gonna be paginated. But the levels. Actually, I'm gonna make them be paginated. So this is gonna be true. It's gonna be expanded by default. Show item count sure. And I want um, number number of items per page is gonna be one. Yeah, that's the one. Let's see how that works. Uh, let's make a stat just for 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 now. Uh, so project tower link uh, dummy. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, just call it that. Yeah, uh, dummy projectile um, weapon damage stat. So now, if you go here, we can attach the stat. Actually, I might uh, remove the label from the stat as well. Made label. I mean, we know it's a stat. We have it in the in the name right here. So yeah. So the stat and the uh, the multiplier. Cool. So now, if I add another level, it's gonna look like this. Uh, we need to select currency. Let's we're gonna cost fifty coins, and it's gonna give us a uh, projectile damage, whatever it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna have fifty percent more damage. So now we can move through them. So yeah, the first one should be uh, let's say twenty-five percent more damage. Can I make it so it doesn't loop? Doesn't look like that's a thing. Nope, I can make it so it doesn't loop. That's kind of shit, but whatever. Uh, let's move the has infinite, le infinite levels after the list of levels. Okay, let's add some space here as well. Um, okay, now the only thing left to do uh, um, I'm gonna make this, I guess. I'm 
Damn, there's so many things uh, left to do. Holy shit. Actually, not a lot of, not a lot of things. Um, oh god damn, how do we do the extrapolators though? We are gonna need a list of extrapolators. Okay. Um. Damn. No, it should be a dictionary. Mm, no, I can see a list. Okay, so the, the idea is that uh, the, the number of uh, stats is going to be dynamic, so depending on the weapon, we might have uh, different number of stats. So we have to take that into consideration here in the weapon definition. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. We don't need this. This won't be a thing. Actually, it might be. No, it's gonna be a thing, but. Yeah, no, we will, we will need this. Or. Do we need actually something from the level except for the cost currency? And... Yeah, not really. Okay. Yeah, so we won't want to this actually okay so yeah we have to do something similar with with what we have here so okay so has infinite levels. We are going to need Have extrapolators. As extrapolators, and we also need uh, before cost currency levels. Yeah, before levels here. Private, uh, not stat. Uh, private link. Array. Something like available stats. Serialized field. Global stats. Okay. Set us there. Okay, so th what is this gonna uh, gonna be used for? So right now we only have one stat, but we need we need a way of knowing all the stats because we need to make um, we need to make uh, an extrapolator for each of this uh, for for each stat. So so maybe, maybe um, I can explain what what this extrapolator is. So this is a class that based on some data that you get at the, at the beginning, um, it's gonna, what, what, what it's gonna do is you, you give it some, some initial data and then you can ask it um, for, for data uh, outside of the, the range that you provided. So let's say you give it, uh, let's just, yeah, let's just do it simple. So, so let's say you, you give it, two levels so we have um, for, for damage you know 
you have for the first level you have 25 and for, for the second level you have 50. Um, based on those two numbers uh, that you provide, you can ask, okay, you have these numbers, please tell me um, uh, what the damage is going to be at level uh, at level 3 or at level 5 or at level 100. And that's what this class is going to do. You, you you are gonna here here's the class that you are gonna interact with you have this value at and you and you and you get an index and if you have the value it's just gonna extrapolate it from from, from the data that it has until it gets your value it's just, it's just gonna return it to you that's that's the that's the basic idea and yeah there are uh, some stuff here that uh, yeah does the calculation for for this and there is a lot of room for improvement here but uh, we, we will we will deal with this when we actually see uh, or if we're gonna see performance issues because okay in the, in the game it should it shouldn't be possible to do this be not maybe at, at, at when you load the game uh, but um, you're never you you I don't think you you will jump from 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 let's say you are at level 10 and then you suddenly request uh, what the what's the value at level 100 so I don't think that's gonna happen um, so you, you, you won't you won't have to do a lot of computation just to get the the, the value you, you are gonna get consecutive levels so okay you're level at level 10 you're gonna ask for level in, uh, you're gonna ask for uh, for the level uh, level 11. but yeah if we in the of that we have some performance issue because we request some outrageous uh, uh, or, or the, the data for for an outrageous uh, level like something that is far beyond what what you uh, what you have in the game yeah we might have to do this some 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 uh, in another way maybe with uh, probably not doing it in the main thread but that's uh, that's very far off into the future um okay we have has, to, has extrapolators. We have this array. Now, actually, we need to make those two, two methods, so or similar to those. So public load um, get multiplier or level for stat. It's gonna be something like this. First, you're gonna say what's the level, and then you're gonna say what's the stat. Uh, I'm gonna copy this. Is infinite? No, it is, has infinite levels. Level whatever is not defined in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and we need to do this um, setup. So this uh, extrapolator, extrapolator setup. So private void, private setup extrapolators. So if has extrapolators, we're just going to return uh, as extrapolator is true. Otherwise, here what we're going to do is extrapolator is going to be equal to available stats dot uh, select and stat is going to become 
uh, return new uh, extrapolate. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a new of this. And here we have to specify the, the data, which we, I don't know how we should extract it. I think I'm gonna put mandatory so uh, so for for each level you have to specify all the stats and what the multiplier for each each of them is. Otherwise, it's gonna be very hard to set up those extrapolators. I mean, figuring out what the data is. Yeah, I'm gonna make that mandatory. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna crash if it can do that so that's 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 it um yeah, so levels dot uh select yeah and the way of getting the stats out of the out of here. So yeah, public uh, void. No, it's gonna be float. We're gonna have get multiplier for stats. Oh 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 oh. Uh, link stat. Gonna do returns at uh, first or default. No, first, because uh, we want to crash if you don't find anything. Uh, first, uh, s dot, and we don't, and we haven't exposed those. So public link stat stat and public load uh, with a capital M. Okay. Filter S. Nope. Stat is equal to stat. Not multiplier. Okay. Here we can do get multiplier for stat and this stat. Wait, what is going on here? Oh yeah, uh, my bad. Yeah, and here is the worry. Okay, that settled it. Okay. So for each available stat, we're gonna extrapolator and the data, yeah, we're gonna go through all levels and get a multiplier for it at all the levels and we're passing that to to the extrapolator okay so now here if we do set up extrapolators and return we're gonna do extrapolators um And we need the index, so extrapolators of available stats. System array index of available stats. St uh, stat. Dot get value at level.
Okay. That should be it. And yeah, we have to do the same thing actually for for the cost. So actually, let's duplicate this. Get. Get cost for level and yeah, we need the same thing as here. We're gonna need cost and currency. Oh damn, yeah, we need. Oh shit. On top of having uh, on top of having extrapolators for the stats, we also need extrapolators for the cost. Let's just rename this to stats extrapolators, yeah. And let's duplicate it. Cost extrapolator. Nope. Extrapolator of levels dot select L dot cost. Was a problem. Wait, what? The cost is an int, so oh, you don't like this, uh, so I have to, yeah, I have to cast it as a float. Sure. Whatever. Now here, we don't need this. Uh, we don't need the stat because we don't care about the stat. Um, I'm gonna change it a bit actually. Oh, we're only gonna have the cost, uh, but not the currency here. We're gonna currency before the levels. So let's remove this space. We're gonna do private currency levels currency. Okay, uh, serialized field and and space. So here, oh, whoa, whoa, what? Oh, uh, yeah, not like this, but like this. Floor to int, post extrapolator dot get value at. Level minus one and level currency. There we go. Now, if you look, at, if you look at this, we're gonna have the yeah. The currency for the levels is gonna be defined outside of the levels, so so it will not be possible to have different uh, currencies for different levels. All the levels should use the same currency or upgrade. Well, no, yeah, yeah, no. All levels should have, yeah, all levels. Should have. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to work with the extrapolators. For, for, for the levels that I'm extrapolating data for, I want to know what currency I should use if there are multiple uh, currencies that are used throughout the uh, initial levels or the, or the defined levels. So yeah, the, 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 the actually let's rename it because I don't the name. It's going to be level Uh, 
level cost currency, level level currency, level cost currency. Yeah, level cost currency. Uh, yeah, sure. Add that. Move it. Okay. And it's gone. That's amazing. Um okay. So we have this. Oh, one thing that we can do actually. Oh no, we we have to use the Extra, yeah, never mind. We have to use it later. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's a big thing. Uh, that's a basic thing we need uh, for, or the, the things that we need at runtime. The only thing left to do right now is, um, let's see. What else do we need? We'll need this for the UI. Uh, link, whatever. Okay, what else, what else, what else, what else? I don't think there's anything left. I think that's everything we need. Now what I would like to do is have a... We have to make the the um, we have to make the button for for opening up the the inspector for the for the extrapolators for the infinite levels. So I'm trying to to to, to understand how I've done it here. I don't know where the button comes from. I think it comes. I think it comes from. From a custom editor, though, I think that's the. I think I have a. A bridge editor, is that it? No. This is not it. Oh, 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 oh! Here. This is it. This is what we need, or something similar to this. Okay, let's make that. Uh, uh, weapon definition. We don't have an editor folder, so let's make one. Um, let's get rid of some things from here that we no longer need. And not this. Uh, where's the this one? So here, let's create a class. This editor. Um, this is weapons runtime. So yes, yes, is weapons editor. Cool. Copy. On a file, so I can open this. It send the definition of reference. Cool. 
now we can start building this uh, last one editor for type of this This has a version, okay. Okay, okay, I'm starting to understand what's happening here. Okay, where are my levels here? On the value change name of, name of this and true. What the true says is that uh, we we should look for uh, for changes in in children as well. So if something inside of this class or inside of this class changes, it should also trigger. Not only that, uh, you know, there's a new level, but if something changes inside the level, okay. So now here in the editor, we need this because we need to cache the value, and we need to, to do this, which I can't really do. I don't know how to do. Actually, I think I know how. Yeah. The close one is going to be... I mean, I can define it here. Uh, this is not upgrade definition. This is going to be weapon definition. We don't have levels, but we will have levels. If Unity Editor Public Public Level Select Float Cost, that's it. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this. Get stat extrapolator. Weapon definition. Um, and stat. Extrapolator. Uh, not this, but l dot get multiplier for stat, stat. Okay. So the level vertical is what? We don't know. Um.
one. Need to copy over something else from here, which is this. Let's move this by here, maybe. So var name it's gonna be t dot uh no it's gonna be stat dot name right I can do replace uh dot nice name with nothing and also replace stat with nothing this is what I'm gonna put here and here. That name. So now we're just going to copy over this whole method. And we have to do some changes because this is actually a weapon definition. Has infinite levels. Uh, yeah, this won't work. Um, want that, want that. How do we do this, though? Uh, that's a good question. Can I, or can I, uh, oh yeah, of course I can, but I have to make it a list. Okay, so, oh, yeah, private, um, get extrapolators, okay, and we need the target a weapon slot weapon definition T no, list of this ah array and here we're gonna say t dot uh, uh ah we don't have available uh stats actually this uh oh you know we need this we need this for runtime as well yeah public Okay, so available stats dot get stat extrapolator for T and stats. And this doesn't work because why? Because this is actually extrapolator data not the extrapolator itself. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, add with cost extrapolator. Okay. Now oh, it's more readable like this. So now we use this here. Instead of the new array, we're going to do this of T. 
and the same down here. Okay, I think we have our button. Let's try it. So let's get to a weapon. I mean, this is the only one that's set up, so this one. And I'm gonna say we have infinite levels, so hello. So the cost is that the damage. Oh yeah, they're the same. My bad, because I've set up the cost. Uh, yeah, the cost and the the, the multiplier is the same. Uh, let's put. Uh, Let's say that the first is 15 and the second is 25 and let's add another level so we can have a nice progression. So the third one is going to be 50 with 100 here. So now we should have to, oh, no, <laughs> I hate you. I hate this bug. Yay, time to restart Unity. Yay. Fantastic. The thing is that we are on the right track, so I mean we saw the the editor um appear and with the data so should be okay. Okay, let's look at the web. Open definition, open explorer, and we have an error. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Why? Oh, because this is empty. Okay. Red right here, uh, 50 here, I guess. Um, uh, 75 maybe, save, clear, open explorer, and we have something but it, it, didn't, okay, yeah, this should be, let's put this at 100, 25, 100, oh, those, those both are 100, no, this one should be 50. Let's try it now. Okay. Cost and this is the multiplier for the damage. I mean, I think this is okay. I mean, the the data. I mean, the editor. I'm sure it works fine. I mean, we've tested it when we've made the the upgrades. The 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 passive upgrades. Yeah. Okay. Cool.
Um, one other thing that I would like to do is, so I can test this properly. Also in editor, we're gonna do a private uh, void Gonna be available here. No, where is Oh uh, no, no, not that great, but this. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Okay. Okay, so we have the data on the uh, on the weapons. Um, we can actually do something else here. Um, projectile weapon. I think we have a, a, a stat for the for the damage. So let's assign it. I mean, it's not gonna work because it doesn't. It doesn't know where to get the data from. It's gonna know soon enough. Okay. Um. No, this has to be open. Otherwise, the gizmos doesn't work. Okay. Okay, now the last thing that we have to do is, I mean, it's not the last thing. No. For, for this to work at runtime, we have to make a component that keeps track of, uh, of, the, of the level of the, of the weapon. So, Let's uh, start working on that. So in the weapons here, we're gonna do weapon level. It's gonna be an entity, entity component. It's gonna have data uh, eventually. Um, 
Now we're going to say complete load. Let's add a data component. Entity data. Pub, uh, public. Uh, struct this. Uh, okay. Okay, now, what data do we need to save? Except for the level, of course. Is there anything else that we need to save? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. We, I don't think we need anything else. So yeah, for starters, we're gonna, we're gonna have private, no, it's gonna be, it has to be public, public and, Level, we have to add tabs, tab, no, tab, group, tabs, base group, tabs, general tab. So that's one, and we actually need a reference to the weapon definition. And this is gonna stay in the internal tab. Actually, no, this is gonna be read only. Okay. And we're gonna get the level and put it in here. Level equals to level. And level equals to serialized data dot level. Okay, that one is done. Uh, okay, this one is done. And now let's get to the component. So it will have data. We have to specify it. And I think we're going to have something like. Uh, public event system action on level change public void level up So what I'm gonna do here is d dot level. I'm gonna uh, increment that and on level change and invoke this. Actually, let's let's also send the level. Why not? So it's gonna be an int. I'm gonna send the level. We also make this. Uh, no. Uh, Text menu, I no context menu, and that's it. Level up, and now what we need to do actually, do oh, we actually don't need a weapon definition. Uh,
Yeah, no, we can use it. I'm gonna set up some methods here. So public load um, um. Public float get get multiplier for stat link stat and what I'm gonna do here is return um e dot weapon definition dot get multiplier for level for stat e dot level uh stat I think you can do the same for the for the cost. Actually, I'm gonna copy over this because that's what we need, except for the level here. Definition dot get cost for level. Uh, d dot level plus one. We won't ever need the cost of the current level that we are. We need the cost of the next one, so we should do it like this. Okay, I think that's kind of it. Um, what we can do now is what, or what we have to do. No. Let's attach this component here. Let's attach it to the add it to the weapon, to the projectile weapon. We're gonna work with the projectile weapon first, and then we're gonna go to the the laser um, after everything is done. So weapon level beta. So the level is read only, but here we need to specify the weapon definition. So let's save this. And in the component. Create empty weapon level weapon level and now uh, the, the thing that I was uh, thinking about we go to the projectile attack or actually the projectile attack data I'm gonna make a public weapon level Level. Uh, actually, let's copy the tab over from here. So we'll have a, a reference to the weapon level and projectile attack in the load phase. Uh, we are gonna say d dot level dot on level change. Uh, and Level when the level changes, uh, oh damn, okay, we have to change some stuff here. Okay, private void stop. Weapon. Let's get those two things. We we'll set up and also set up here. Fire weapon multiplied by that and multiplied by uh, d dot weapon level dot get multiplier for stat d dot fire rate stat and here is image stat 
So we can either get uh, get the, the, the multiplier for the upgrades, for the passive upgrades, or uh, from the weapon levels themselves. Okay. That's an expression, buddy. That's... This this is not correct. Uh, yeah, let's fix that uh, right now as well. Uh, have a reference. We do not. Uh, we need a reference to the. Uh, Game speed manager, speed manager. We have that here. There we go. And here it's not time dot delta time. It is actually d dot game. No, game speed manager dot delta time. Okay, that was an unrelated fix. Um. Okay. Now, uh, let's duplicate this stat and and uh, um, rename it and say that it's for fire rate definition. Added to the list of available stats, and let's add it here as well. So fire rate, um, ten percent fire, uh, fire rate, twenty percent, and no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, on the third one. Yeah, here. Fire rate, thirty percent. So now, if I save this and open the explorer, we have the cost, which is the red, the damage, which is in blue, and the fire rate, which is in green. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now let's uh, complete the setup here. So in the projectile weapon, we have okay. Let's specify the fire rate here. And in internal, we need weapon level and the game speed manager. So now theoretically, that's everything that we need to do. I am going to slow down the fire rate, I think, just so we can see the level up in action. So let's say let's say that the fire rate is 0 0.25, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's one thing that I think we forgot to do. Weapon level. Get multiplier for stat. Uh, yeah, here. If we look at the upgrade, upgrade definition, I guess. Yeah, we have to do this. Divide by one hundred and add one for the multiplier to be correct. Yeah. Let's save this. Let's play the game and see how uh, and see if this. Works. So play. Uh, let's make a projectile weapon. I can't make a 
Tell what panel that's what? Why the hell can I project that? Oh, I know why. I know why. If we look here, uh, uh. Yep, now it works. I mean, oh, it throws a lot of errors, but. Good timer. Open. Oh, the debugger is not no longer attached because I restarted Unity. Uh, um, I don't know which one is fine, either the game speed manager or the shoot timer. I'm assuming speed manager, but we just signed it. I went pretty sure. Just, let's just check actually. But I'm pretty sure I've assigned it. Internal. Yeah, we have Game Speed Manager here. Is there something else that I've assigned that I should have? Doesn't look like it. Two errors here. Oh, the following error occurred in projectile attack. There's no error. That's oh, uh, the, yeah. The following error is this error. Okay, uh, let's play again. Let's attach the button. Style, attach, and we have an exception. The shoot timer is null. Why is that? No, it doesn't make any sense. Let's put a breakpoint there. Let's put a breakpoint there. Maybe something crashes in here, maybe? I don't know. That should be fine. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's restart. Okay, set up weapon. That's expected. We have fire rate. We have upgrades manager. We have this. Oh, that failed. Can I see what error? No, I don't catch it. What was it? That exactly what I. 
I, 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 I might have an idea of what is happening here, but... Oh, let's try it again. Projectile, put that there. I think this, or this doesn't work. Yep. We have the weapon definition. We have the level. Has infinite levels, yes. Wait, stat extrapolator is null. Okay, that's the problem. What's this null then? Well, those both are null. This is true. Uh, what? Okay. So I know where the error comes from. Okay, um, I don't see anything from the debug here as extrapolators. I can't modify it. I wish I could set this from from the editor nope I wanted to exit This is still broken.
Let me projectile weapon. Let's go to the weapon level. Let's look up. Let's level up again. Yep, this works. It's 1.3 now. Cool. Let's remove this. The bug, what the hell is going on? What am I instant killing them now? Oh, those are those don't have enemies. Okay, let's try my levels. So that's annoying. Yeah, that's better. This is not better. Another exception. And it's the same exception. What the hell, why is this? Oh, why is this happening? Why isn't that? Realized. Oh, uh, that's so shitty. I think I'm gonna get rid of that and just to. Uh... A null check. I think I'm gonna just do a null check here. So this is null. Let's do this and the same for this. If it's null. Okay. We have level 10. Let's see what level 10 does now. Uh, oh yeah, we have to kill those those uh, those things manually. Actually. Enemy health kill and you.
cool. Oh, it has like a lot of damage. Let's let's pause it, and we can and we can actually see that if we go to projectile attack and we look in here, I mean, he shoots. Yeah. yeah, the damage is eighty instead of the 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 five that it's uh, in is initial initial. And the fire rate is 0 0.25 and now is we don't know what what the frame rate or the fire rate is i mean we can calculate it but it doesn't matter it works for the damage so that should be fine Damn it. You have to die. You don't have a friend with you? Wait, what? Okay, that's a bug. Okay, so the is this one deployed even? Oh yeah, it is. De okay, so we have a bug uh, for the healers. They're apparently deployed. Maybe maybe when we reuse them, they are already deployed or something. Anyway, let's kill it. Let's actually. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have extended power. Fine, never mind, never mind. Yeah, so, so it, apparently it works. So we have, we, we are taking into consideration the, the, the level of the weapon, at least for the project attack. We're gonna do the same for the laser, but um, for now I think we're gonna focus on, on the UI. Or no, first have to, or yeah, yeah the, the kind of the UI. So, Let's see. Um, weapon inspector. Okay. Now, um, here in the content, I think what we're gonna do is have different contents for different type of, types of weapons. And based on the weapon you click on, we're gonna switch the, the content. Or actually, or or no, or Actually, no, we won't do it with this. Um, yeah, no, uh, actually, for the, the, the stats are the only ones who... Or the only ones for which we need to, to, to have different content. So we might make it so we have... Let's add another one. Let's have, like, support for four stats by default. I don't think we're going to have more than four stats. Per weapon, so just 
let me move it. So let's just eyeball it. That's kind of okay. Um, let's see, what do we need? Private. Uh, this is going to be the title. Level. Subtitle. Um, level up. button and what else what else what else what else actually let's just call it button uh and then we have we're gonna have the yeah um that one name that one value and or and all of those should have a serialized field here or before each one of them and I'm gonna add some space some space space here here one here and one here let's attach this uh, this component we can also see it in the editor weapon weapon inspector oh. i don't like the s weapon inspector Cool. My monoscript. And yeah, we're also gonna need a or no, 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 no. I said I'm gonna do that from the UI. Um what else do we need? One other thing that we would need to have here is a, a, a button to close the the, the, the pop-up or the, the inspector. So let's add that. Let's look for the button. It's going to be a circular button. So we won't look far. Uh, yeah, something like this. A circle button, a red one preferably. So circle, yeah, something like this. So let's add a circle red here. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller though. Uh, here, zero, zero, that is huge, huge. 
Um, we might have to use the scale though. Or I don't know why it's not. Uh... I'm gonna change the icon. Um... Yep, perfect. Okay, the other thing that we are gonna need, uh, but it might interfere with the weapons actually. Yeah, selected weapon. We are... Yeah, we might have to rename this. So this, yeah. I'm gonna rename this. From selected weapon to selected weapon type. Okay, change the name of the file to so a type or namespace, whatever could not be found. Uh, you're gonna find it. Don't you worry. Cool. Let's look that everything is fine in here. Selected weapons. Well, select the weapon service. Uh, I can't open it from here, right? Uh, let's find it. Uh, might be here. No. It might be with the weapons. Yeah. So selected weapon type service. And we're also gonna have a selected weapon. Um. That's why I I, I needed to. To rename it so selected weapon it is yeah it's going to be a service as well I don't see loaded actually I on scene unloaded as well But, um, on level selected button. Actually, let's make this public. Public weapon level select weapon. Get and set. Um, it can be it can have the name the same. Just call it weapon then. Okay.
actually we're, we are going to save it here never mind so this is weapon and this is uh weapon is equal to value public event system action no just like this I don't know. Like this. Private weapon. Oh, also here uh, in reset, we're also going to reset on select the weapon change. We're going to make this null, just so that we don't keep any references from uh, from one run to another. Okay, this on selected weapon change. Or actually, let's on weapon change. Um, how do we do this? How do we do this? Uh, let's actually make an, uh, an empty panel. Um, doesn't really matter. This so panel is going to be here at the top no here and everything is gonna stay oh no uh those three are gonna stay in the panel so now it should have changed for the for the ui but now what we can do is private game object panel Can do is say panel is a panel dot set active if, it's, if the weapon is not null let's make the panel active okay Um, okay, let's see. So, weapon inspector, this is the panel. Uh, select the weapon. Oh, we haven't created it yet. Let's create it. Create project tower uh, weapons selected weapon service. Uh, actually, let's name it. Uh, 
like this. Weapon inspector selected weapon. And now on this button, I'm gonna say selected weapon. Weapon is null. Okay. Well, now there's there's one thing that is gonna work. Theoretically, when I click on the X button, the panel should disappear. Uh, nope, that failed. Uh, can I convert? Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's do it through the. Yeah, let's do it through through this. Uh, public. Close, close inspector, Let's try it again. Oh yeah, that disappeared because the select button is indeed null. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Dummy projectile weapon. I think we actually have everything that we need to make this. Uh, yeah, we don't have a glider for this, so we'll have to add one, which is not a problem though. Uh, let's create. No, let's go to the model. Uh, sure, safe, whatever. Uh, create empty collider. Capsule collider. Uh, let's make it big. Uh, one. And the two height. Three. Sure. Three in height. Uh, it's not a trigger. That's okay. And it should have weapon as the layer. And now the last thing we have to go to. Oh no, uh, we have to attach applicable to this. And let's that. Where's the thing I'm looking for? It's not here. Because it selected weapon, weapon, and it's. No, it's this. Okay, and now we have to go to controls, uh, click manager. Here we have to select that we also want to click on weapons. So let's try it. We should now be able to. Oh, this is still select. This is wait now. This is yeah. I can I can close it. I can create a weapon, and now I should be able to click it, and it appears. Oh my god! It actually works. Now I can click on this, and it disappears. Click, 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 click. Nice. But now the problem is that it interferes with the the fact that we put that collider there. Uh, that interferes with the with the healers have to have a separate uh, a separate layer for the for the weapon itself. Uh, or 
keep the keep the weapon layer for the weapon and then have a different we uh, different uh, different uh, layer for the for the trigger for the detection area. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but it's not a, it's, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, the, the the important thing is that we click on that. So now we have some some things to do. Um, I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is hook up the level up button. So click void on. Here and then I want to level up. Um, yeah, let's just do it the dumb way. So, selected weapon dot weapon dot level up. Um, public, public void setup button. I'm gonna say button dot text equals to equals to what? Let's see what we put on the on the button. What text do we have here? Okay, this is the text that we need. Okay. Selected weapon dot weapon dot d dot level plus one and the number of coins. How do we get the number? Um, actually, let's do this. Level and select weapon dot weapon dot uh, get get cost for level level dot cost. And what's the problem with this? You don't have to specify the level. It's gonna give us directly the le the cost for the next level. Okay, cool. Now you need to first call this here after we level up, and also here. After start, no, doesn't it doesn't make sense to call it after start. Uh, um, Okay, let's try it. You should at least have the button uh, display the correct information. Uh, let's uh, make sure that we have everything assigned here. Obviously, we have nothing assigned. Uh, so let's assign the text, at least, at least for the button. Uh, let's do the, the, the rest as well. So this, this. Actually, I don't care about the stats right now. Yeah, let's keep those. Have the panel selected by yeah that should be fine. So now when we play, the panel should disappear by default. Okay, that's cool. Let's make a projectile weapon. And now I can click on the projectile weapon. We have the level up button, and now I can click on it, but nothing happens. And that is because 
we have to do two things. Uh, we actually have to call this after the weapon has changed, or actually. If not, has weapon, return, otherwise do this. So we have to set up the button when the weapon is selected. And we have to call the method when we click the button. So this inspector on level up button click. This time it should work. Let's make a projectile weapon. There we go. Actually, let's maximize this. So now I should be able to click on this. And, and I have something. Uh, level 1. 15 coins. 50 coins. 100. Hell yeah. Cool. So now I have the, 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 the level up button. So I can click on this. Obviously, it doesn't doesn't take the, the the coins from the from the economy manager but we yeah we have to do that the stats are not present the, this not even the level is changed even though we change it down here but this is actually nice it, even though it doesn't look like anything is happening actually there's a lot of things that is happening that are happening actually but yeah cool 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 Okay, so um, what do we start with? Um, Okay. Let's go to the weapon. Actually, let's go here. So there's a weapon level, and here we say get cost for level. Cool. For Actually, let's call it get cost for next level. Okay. Public bool okay. level up. So now here we have to say um so return, we can level up if we have if the d dot uh, no d dot weapon definition dot has infinite levels or d dot weapon definition dot uh, level uh, levels count. Or no, the level is less than the number of levels. Uh, less. Yeah, if we're on level. Let me think. Uh... By default, we're on we're on level zero. Doesn't exist. I mean, it exists, but it's not a level we care about.
it's something like that like this we, we will test it doesn't really matter so so yeah we, we need this so so if one of this is true and we need to make sure that we have enough money to level up so and let's just put true for now uh, uh we have to go here we have add uh public we have to look at the economy manager let's copy this okay and uh, uh d dot economy manager has currency and what currency do we need we need d dot weapon definition dot uh... Oh, I don't have a way of getting the currency for the level. Uh, I have to make that. Let's just put currency for now so it compiles. And uh, d dot level plus one. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, here it's actually level plus one. Or, or is it? Yeah, we have to look at the next level. Okay. Let's go here. So public currency uh, here. There are button. Hmm. Okay. Also need a private um, like manager. I need a reference to the economy manager. Not sure how I can do this. Um, have I made anything? I should have made something for this, right? Oh yeah, an economy change, that's what we need. An economy change. Currency. Actually, we don't care about our currency. I mean, we should care, but we don't. Actually, yeah, no, let's do that. Currency. Uh, let's get this and put it here as well with a minus. And move this down below here. So, on economy change. Want to do on economy change so first of all we have to look at the dot uh, no not uh no on selected weapon dot weapon and if it's null we're gonna return after that we're gonna look at this dot uh d dot weapon definition dot level cost currency if it's from the currency also return and if all those conditions are met we are going to set up the button again 
screen. And the only thing left to do is we need to get. Actually, I'm gonna rename this to button text. Don't we need to serialize that. Doesn't matter. And we also need the button, which is from UI. Actually, let's put it above. Because uh, depending on the fact that, uh, depending on if we have money or not, that's a weapon, weapon dot can level up. So if I can level up, make it interactable. If I can't level up, I'm I'm not gonna make it interactable. I need to assign some stuff here. So button, it should be this, and the text it's this. I need to assign the economy manager. Okay, and that's actually kind of it, right? No, uh, we also need to go to the weapon level, right? Yeah, because we have a kind of manager here as well. We have to save that. So let's go to the projectile weapon. Uh, weapon internal here. Oh, and also uh, in the weapon level here, we also need to do economy manager dot uh, remove currency. We want to remove the dot weapon definition dot level cost currency and the dot Weapon definition dot get cost for level, which is the dot level. Oh no. Yeah. Cost for level, and we need the cost. And we have to put it. Uh, have to put it wait I have to change things a bit I guess um... Uh, how do we do this? So, so what I'm what I'm thinking about is when you first create a weapon, you sh should be at like something called level zero, which gives you no multiplier. Yeah, the multiplier for each stat is zero. And then when you level up, you get to the, to the next level. So, but but the problem is that the, the the way it's set up right now, if we ask for level zero, it's going to give us the first level from the list, which. 
not what we want, I think. It is not what we want. Um thinking what we what do we need, what do we need to do here? So this is correct. Yeah, we're gonna look at the next level. This is correct. Wait. Uh, never mind. This is not correct. This is not what what I want. This is d dot weapon definition dot cost for level dot cost. Actually, let's modify this. We should only return an int, not the currency. The currency we can get uh, by looking at the definition. Oh. Yeah, like this. And it's gonna break a, a couple of things. So this one and this one. Uh, get cost for next level. Int. There will be another place where we have to change something. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So actually, when we when we want to get something, when we when we try to get level zero, I think we should uh, actually return zero. Or I mean for the multiplier. Uh, basically, here if I say Level is zero, return one as the multiplier. And here I'm gonna subtract one. And for the cost, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. So if level is zero, we're gonna return uh, the cost is zero. It doesn't really matter the cost, but uh, we have to get. So, and yeah, here the, the level is correct. Because if we wanna, wanna get the, f the, the, the cost for the first level, we have to look at index zero in the extrapolator. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And here, yeah, everything is correct here. Now, uh, the other thing that we have to change is for this to actually make sense here for the level, we have to add two. Our, our level zero in the code is actually the level one for the player, or in, in the mind of the player, it's going to be the, the first level of the weapon. So for the button to show level two, when you want to upgrade the newly created weapon, we have to add two to the to the index zero. So yeah, you have to do that. So let's try it. Let's press play. And we're going to check the, the values as well. So let's create a weapon. Let's click on it, and now we have we are making level two, and and there it says uh, let's see it says 15 coins. So let's check the weapon definition, and for level one, yeah, see uh, it has a cost of. So now if we play and we click on this, we have level three with 50 coins, and that's exactly what we see. Level four, 100 coins. There we have it. Okay, so now this is. Correctly getting the data from the extrapolators, and I can keep going. So, so level five, uh, 180 coins, and theoretically I should be able to explore. 
and if we look at the red which is the cost uh, I'm not seeing the uh, apparently I can't see the the tooltip for some reason I don't know why okay I'm not able to see the tooltips uh, maybe because I'm in play mode this might be weird uh, let's try it now yeah okay so this is level 5 and it has a cost up to 60 wait actually let's get rid of damage and fire rate let's just only have cost so level 115 level 250 level 3 100 level 4 180 Yeah, this is level four. Wait. I mean, the value is correct. 180 is correct. What I'm confused about is the number that we display in the game. We are at level. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the UI, we're displaying level five. Um, because there's actually there's actually a level that precedes this one, which is the level zero that that I've talked about, which is um, which has uh, basically the, the 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 multiplier of that level doesn't affect the the fire rate or whatever stat there is. So yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. It's it it, it is uh, indeed correct. Cool. So now we have the panel. Uh, well, kind of. We have the panel. We don't have the title, the level, and the stats. We have the button. So we we are able to, to level up the 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 weapon. I haven't I haven't I haven't looked at that, but uh, we should also uh, consume coins. Whenever we upgrade, and also let's try to upgrade until we don't have uh, any more coins uh, available to to buy. So upgrade, 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 and we should get there. There we go. We need a thousand eight hundred coins, and we only have half of that. We are slowly, slowly, slowly making coins. No, it's not fire. Okay, there's there are apparently there are some more issues with the project weapon not firing at enemies. Let's do this. Let's open it again. It's still not available. I can't click on it. So so even though I like I can't use it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so now the, the only thing left to do is uh, uh, write the name of the weapon, the level, the, the, the level we're at, and um, the stats. And after that, we are actually done with leveling up weapons, which is actually quite impressive. Okay, let's uh, let's do that and yeah, let's 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 start doing that. Okay, let's get rid of everything except this. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so first let's start with the weapon. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. As I said, the the, the name right now is not correct. It is not the the thing that I would want to see here. So most probably uh, when I upgraded. 
to a newer version of the localization package they have changed the, the name of the the thing I was looking for so let me see um, so I'm looking for the weapon definition yeah so this let's go to the name which is this uh, uh, I want to get rid of this version uh, I'm pretty sure for the weapons I don't have this oh no I do have it displayed okay Never mind then. Uh, I should make it at least. Uh... Weapons definition and also in the weapons or upgrade definition. But let's make it read only here as well. Because that uh, it does make sense to, to have it available for for us to change. It's not even realized though. Actually, it's easy to realize because it's public. Oh, that's ah, no, it's okay, it's fine. Okay, uh, cool. Okay, no, yeah, so in the weapon definition, the localized string here is not apparently is not what we want anymore. Provide a way to reference a string table entry inside of a specific string table, but. By, by, by this definition, it is exactly what I want, but uh, I don't see it. Doesn't look like it should. Not rendered as it should. That's the problem. I don't. I don't know why. Not sure why it's not rendered as it should. Yep, here it's rendered as it's supposed to, but uh, not here. What's going on here? I'm thinking that maybe Odin has something to do with it. Um, but I, I'm not sure how or why. I don't see anything interesting in here. I have to assign something here somehow. What is this? Oh, oh maybe they, maybe we have to assign something from here. Let's see. Um, localization. Oh, it doesn't look like I have to create something from here. Um, let's see who implements the I variable I guess uh no can I see who implements this I guess not or just not easily wait what where, where does this come from we don't know oh yeah it, it is from distant variable Doesn't make that much sense. Uh, um, let's, can I do properties for? Oh yes, I, no, that's not what I want. I want the properties for 
six and I want that's not what it wants. Like string bool global variable. Bool 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 in string variable. Yeah, but I don't want a variable. That's not that's not what I want. That is not what I want. This looks like a this like this looks like a dictionary sorts, but it's not what I want. Um, there's one thing that I could try. Uh, I think there is a new version of the package. I might try to make a. I might try to upgrade it. Let's see. Localization. Yeah, we do have a, 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 a new version. Let's try to upgrade it, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, this is going to fix it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to fix it. Because I, I think I looked at the the change log and I don't remember seeing anything relevant for this issue. But maybe there was. I don't know. Let's be optimist. Uh, what is that? What's that? Uh, on the latest version and obviously we have to restart Unity because why the hell not? Yeah, uh, we need to restart Unity. And uh, control click on this. Interesting. Interesting. This is a sign. Let's look at the weapon. Okay, so it looks the same as it did before. Uh, yeah, same, same. Localized reference, localized string. Reference a string table entry inside of a specific string table and record the localized string. Yeah, that's what I want. Is there, is there a place to use this? Maybe in a mono behavior or something? Let's search for that. I very much doubt it, but enemy, enemy definition, upgrade definition, and weapon. Yeah. Let's look at this. Let's look at the name limit definition. Maybe is it, is it different here? No, it's not. And this doesn't have a uh, this doesn't have a custom editor, so I can't really blame Odin for this. Pretty sure I can't.
Uh, there's something fucked up here with the rendering of this. Oh, one thing that I'm... I have an idea of why this might not work. Uh, sure, no, but uh, let's, let's see. Um, the first thing that I would, that I would like to, to, to test is... Uh, we have in playground. Let's let's get into this component. I I have to remove it anyway. Let's add something here. Let's add a public public. Um, wait. What was it called? Localized stream. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm wondering if it's, it's if it's, if it's gonna show up correctly in here. Oh, it is not. Okay, that is still good. Localized string event. Let's look at this. Let's see if we can see the script for it. And let's look at the string reference here. What is the string reference? It is a freaking localized string. What the fuck? What? You localized string. Would it be that? We need to add this. That would be s not cool, but cool at the same time because we can make it work. Nope, that's not a problem. So why does it work here but not there? Actually, no. What is this? No, uh, actually not that, but this. It is the same type. Okay, so we're, so we're not looking at a different class. But why does this work and my thing doesn't work? What is the difference? What is the difference? Okay, nothing interesting here. Let's look for this. Oh, I have one more idea. One more idea. Um, interesting, this is a partial class. Why would it be a partial class? Maybe so you can extend it. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, what I like to see is that drawer, or or actually, let's see if we can find a an editor for this. Let's see if it has a, a custom editor. Wait, it's two custom property drawers. What localized property drawer and localized string property drawer? Why does it have two property drawers? 
Enable property variants. Package docs generation. What? Uh, oh, I know what this is. It's for that stupid thing. Yeah, I know what this is. Uh, but but still, um, let's look at it from here. Wait, this is the third one. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Why are there multiple property drawers for the same type? What the hell is going on? Because this one is different from this one. Multiply string table property drawer. Localize string. Ah, this is localized string table. My bad. And this is localized string. Okay, okay. Uh, there are not multiples. My bad. Uh, let's look at find again. But. Uh, and this is localized string property. Okay, no, my, my bad. It, 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 it's actually a single one. So this is a thing that renders, theoretically renders the, 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 the thing on the left. It kind of looks like what I expect the code for this one down below to look like. Is it somehow internal? Is it was this true? I don't know what that true is. Let's look at the constructor. Uh use for children. Oh I think I have to test this in a... I'm pretty sure it's from... Somehow it's from audio. Um, do I have... I don't think I have audio here. Let's install the localization package here and try to see if it works. Because I'm pretty sure it's not a, an issue from them, it's actually an issue from the project, but I don't know why. And I don't know how I'm gonna find out, but yeah, I'll have to to find out somehow. So uh, yeah, that's cool. Let's look for the localization. Uh, 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 uh. I'm blind. I think it's on this screen, but it, I don't see it. Uh, no, it's not because it is a preview package. Hell is the localization package. Come on. I mean, I know how to install it manually, but. Stupid. Uh, git URL community. Oh, on. Now don't tell me that this this is not correct anymore. I'm gonna be sad. Nope, nope, it is there. Okay, weird. Hmm. Actually, I might look at the. Huh. This editor should be. Uh. uh, uh. Documentation should have support for this uh, editor. We have LTS. 
So yeah, we're on the latest version. Installation, quick start guide for this. Uh, this looks fine. Yeah, they are there. Apply strings. Um, yeah, let's try it here. Let's make a Let's let's open the uh, new window, please. Okay. Class random. Behavior public uh, localize string. See? Nope, okay, it's not for me. What the fuck? Why? Do I have something on the class that holds this? Localized string. There's something interesting here. Localized ref. No. Localized string event. Localized model behavior. Well, that's interesting. What the hell does this do? Provide editor support for localization. Do I have to do this? Because if I do, I'm going to be so sad. Because probably they don't have support. I mean, I think I might make it, but probably they don't have support for skippable objects. If this is going to render correctly, it's going to be shit. There is no active localization. Well, that's... That is... Uh, um, okay, uh, let's try it here. As we have the localization set up in here, and let's put a three in there. I'm gonna be very sad if this works. But at the same time, it nope, nope, this still doesn't work. What the? F what does this do? Tracked. Dict. Editor, unregister known driven properties. Refresh event objects. Refresh object. Still doesn't work. Well, what else can I do? What else can I do? I do have a string here.
Okay, I have no idea what's happening here. I have no idea. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I I don't know. I don't know what else to look for. I'm probably gonna go search on the forum to see if anyone has this the same problem that I do. Uh oh, yeah. Uh, let me check. But I'm pretty sure I have Odin here. God damn it, I do have Odin. Shit. Okay, this is not a good test. We need a new project. My bad. Uh, delete this and. Yeah, where is unrelated test? Delete this as well. Okay, okay, we're gonna try this with a project that doesn't have all in. Okay. Uh, pretty sure this doesn't have all in. Uh, this is not the same version, right? This is 2021. I mean, uh... yeah, I might as well try it. Yeah, 2021. Okay. Um, I have to add it. Let's see if we can find it here. Here it shows up. Okay, that's stupid. But it's maybe it's gonna work correctly here. I don't know. And your stuff Okay, uh, public, nope, localize, string, name, this. Right here it shows up correct. Okay. Um, let's install Odin. After we install Odin, there are two things that would happen. Uh, I don't want to update, I just want to import it. Come on, don't be us. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to import it. Because I want this specific, this specific version.
on. Thing. Now we have our answer. It's from Odin for some weird reason. It is indeed from Odin. Cool. That is totally stupid. But I know who to ask for directions now. Or actually, I'm. I might actually. Let's try. Let's try. Do, let's try to do. Uh, uh, let's try to upgrade Odin, actually. Maybe they fixed it. Oh, oh damn, they have made some changes. I have to look at the change log to see what, what changed. I, I know there were like three or four updates since the dot five one that we use. I don't know if it reached uh, the 12. I have to see what, what has changed. Hopefully they fix this, this weird uh, bug. I don't think so. Yep. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh my God. It works. Cool. And now let's see if, it, if I can actually use it. What inspector they need? They have it back. They have it back. Oh my god, yeah, we can upgrade Odin and we're gonna have that. Cool. The thing is, though, uh, we are not gonna do it today. Um, we are most probably gonna do another stream tomorrow and we're gonna continue with the small thing. And um, yeah, let me stop the timer for this for today. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here for today. Uh, uh, continue tomorrow. We're gonna do a, sh a short stream, maybe maybe an hour, max uh, max two. Uh, we're we're gonna finish this task and we're gonna work on the powers. Um, yeah. So l let's see, uh, let's see a bit what we have uh, done today or what's the state of this task. So we have the panel. Uh, let's let's play the game actually. So we have the panel. It's not enabled by default, but if we create a weapon, currently only the projectile projectiles weapon is supported. But after you create a weapon, you can click on it. Then the panel appears on the on the left, and you can close it. So uh, yeah, so it disappears. You can click the weapon again. Uh, I haven't tested this, but yeah, I can click. Uh, on the weapon, there is, uh, is uh, open and uh, nothing breaks. And the, the most important thing is that we can click on the level up button, and the text updates. Uh, and uh, yeah, it it uh, also uh, it uh, it shows us exactly what the, the the points required for the next level is and the name of the level. And yeah, and uh, the level up actually does work, so it, it affects the stats of the, the of the weapon itself, and it should also be already hooked up to the uh, save and load system. So if we save the game and we reload it, we should be able to see the or we should be able to have the weapon at the same level as it was before saving. Yeah. So so the 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 the. the the, the only thing left to do is yeah update the rest of the uh, the rest of the stuff here in the in the panel the the name of the weapon the level uh, which actually the level we could do right now but actually I I do want to localize that as well and also the the button should be localized too uh, and also the stats uh, for the beginning we're all have uh, four available. We, we I don't think we're gonna have more than four stats for a weapon so um, that should be that should be good maybe we're not gonna have more than three but four is uh, is okay yeah so, so we're gonna continue with this uh, tomorrow um, and yeah 
we 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 should uh, we should be able to to upgrade Odin so we can so we can have those those uh, correct drawers for the for the localized ring and be able to actually use it. So yeah, um, yeah. See you. Yeah, see you tomorrow. And thanks for for being here. So. Bye-bye.